these on. Yeah, yeah, try to put them. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's Do you know what I'm saying? Ace about them, yeah, when you when you watch them on the camera, they actually look like they've been edited on. Do they, yeah. <laughs> so they look good, good yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can use them. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Let's go along where these for. So Wes has been the leader there in starting the podcast, so apparently we've started the podcast, so like... Yeah, yeah. So you guys have ran records, which stands for... Right about now. Where did that name come from? Um, I fe- I'm not entirely sure, but I think <coughs> one of my mates a long time ago, he goes by the name of Pancake. If you probably watch this, you'll know what I mean. Um, he always used to say, right about now, I'll say just like in general, like yeah. right about now. And then I think it just stemmed from that. <laughs> I think one day I was like, once you start a record company and I didn't know what to, what to use, you know what I mean? What, and then I don't know, just that, that must have just stuck because what he always used to say. And I think that's my best explanation of where it came from. So like how long, how long have you been going? It, um, I'd say about 2015 started it. So, so it's before about, I was. Yeah, yeah, about four years. Obviously I just wanted, just wanted to do something like more than because I've always made music, but I just wanted to do something more than you know just rap myself as if like you know get different people together and whatnot. And <coughs> I think it just all stemmed from there. Just just an idea, really. What instrument did you start on, or did you just start like writing music from there? Um, <coughs> I started just writing raps, just writing. When I was about nine, started <coughs> writing raps. Remember my first rap? It didn't seem rhyme at all. I can remember, remember when I wrote it? Yeah. Didn't seem get, didn't seem get the idea that it was supposed to rhyme it. So we we went, we went to then. Who, uh, who, Eminem, who, big influence. Oh, yeah. My yeah. brother, I can remember my brother brought uh, the Marshall Mathers LP. I remember the Marshall Mathers yeah, LP? Yeah, yeah, mate. I'm fucking massive. He fan. brought that in. It was like a copied version. I can remember listening to it and I just hooked me straight away. I yeah. remember hiding it from my mum because it was like, if you remember that, I'm days, and stuff. Yeah, I remember the days when Eminem was all over the news. And it was like a big upset, and everyone. Yeah, he was the naughty fucking yeah, artist. Yeah, he was pe- of the 90s. Popping yeah. pills on stage and all yeah. that, like. It, it, it was the Beastie Boys when I was a kid, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but they're super conservative compared to Eminem, though, aren't they? The yeah. Beastie Boys. Are like, <laughs> I, I remember watching something ages ago. I can remember when the Prodigy first came out, basically, and they did the song Smack My Bitch Up. Remember Beastie Boys had something on an interview and they were like, oh, we, we just disagree with like the misogynism that goes <laughs> on. It's like, you fucking idiots. <laughs> You're so not rock and roll anymore. <laughs> but they're from my, one of my biggest influences, actually, the Beastie Boys is. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Beastie well, Boys, yeah, I've never, I know, obviously I know a lot about them, but I've never really listened to too much. Eminem was always just massive for me. Yeah. I mean, well, it's our generation, isn't it? Yeah. So mm. cause well, the, the Beastie Boys, if you've not been there and, and had a good laugh, go back and have a listen. Seriously, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're yeah, really good, mate. Yeah, honestly. they are, actually. Like, yeah. Honestly. In terms of sampling and stuff, you could probably pull a lot of good shit well, from them. Didn't they have something to do with the 808? Like, oh. I, I, I sure have seen a a documentary somewhere and it, the Beastie Boys had something to do with an 808 something like that 808 sort yeah, of yeah like bass 808 bass yeah they, I'm sure they, I mean they did a lot I mean the, the other week we had a band in called Black Coast yeah mm. and I said to Reese that I don't I don't think you'd be able to collaborate with them like obviously you'd definitely be able to collaborate with you but there's a, a tune called um, No Sleep Till Brooklyn by right. the Beastie Boys, oh, yeah. and they've actually they actually collaborated with a guy named Kerry King from Slayer, and I don't know you probably don't metal. know who Slayer or it's, no, like, it's no. like a really hardcore no. metal band, and that was like probably one of the first sort of metal bands create like collaborating with like sort of a like, yeah, with like, like a hip hop band, yeah. and it, and I think it's the producer I think his name Ross Robinson I don't know if you've ever heard of him no 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 no, no. It, 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 I think he's the genius behind mm. the Beastie Boys. Mm. Right. So, but you, you two are the geniuses behind Right About Now Records, aren't you? That's the one. <laughs> so, what is Right About Now Records all about, man? Um, I don't know. It's all about it. Just like I said, it just started with me wanting to do some in music and have bring people together and whatnot. And it's just you know evolved from there. Really, obviously, now now we're going into the live events and what we did the other night, uh, getting all them people down. You know, I knew I knew a few of the acts. Mont knew the other half of them, and I just think it was a uh, absolutely f- great night of music and that's one thing that's right about now records is done is yep. bringing you know all them people together the other night that that probably wouldn't have performed because that was your not. first event wasn't it that you've actually put on yeah, yeah which yeah. i was quite surprised about because you've been like sort of you know fe- fettering underground for quite some time now, yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah, like yeah. In ter- you two in terms of your music writing and stuff that's right. so I've he- I-, I heard of you before you came onto the podcast but it was interesting with you when you got in touch it was like fucking hell 3,000 likes on Facebook, this guy that's fucking killing it in Stoke-on-Trent, 
<laughs> and and yet there has never been a fucking we've never met eye to eye with each other before yeah, like I it's crazy it's because it's like we have we've been making music a long time but we've never really been putting ourselves out there as much as mm. you know, as we are now when i should. think we were just getting ready for it to yeah. be fair yeah just, just i have been like i said when i performed the other night down uh on the event that's the first time i've ever performed brown, brown, yeah. Jug, yeah. brown jug brown jug man you know when i've can't can't express how much i enjoyed it but you killed it man yeah uh, but yeah, i'd say like before i was perhaps a little bit shy do you know what i mean with yeah. music and that's probably why i've never really done anything do you know what i mean if i, if I think back now i should have probably done live performing a long long time yeah. ago but you know what i mean it was probably just held myself back a little bit but since you know starting right back now records linking up with mont and everything we're doing now, you know what I mean? It just gives me the confidence a lot more. And I think it's good as well because, like, <coughs> you're relating to, like, an artist that potentially could be signing up to you guys. Like, yeah. where you know what it's like now to be on stage. <coughs> I can't believe that was the first time you've actually performed <laughs> on stage, man. Yeah, man. Is that, it's a lot like, of, ever? It's, it's ever. A lot of practice. What, man? What have you yeah. been doing? So there you go, I don't know. Have you just been too shy? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, uh, maybe. I wouldn't say that. I, I don't know whether it's too shy or whether just not like putting myself out there yeah. and you know whereas I, I could have probably gone to people and say listen do you want me to perform or do you know what I mean I don't I just no, I don't think I've ever been ready to be fair yeah. do you know what I mean I can remember a couple of years ago a lad used to come up uh, to the studio he wanted me to perform at an event and I was like no I'm not ready and he was like why 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 do you want to perform that and I was like I just don't feel ready and I never did yeah. do you know what I mean and that's probably the only the only reason and now I feel readier than ever, Johnny. You know I, mean? I can't <laughs> wait well, for you, it. You definitely pulled this off. Yeah, it, mate. It, yeah, it was good now. It was a really yeah, good yeah. night. I sort yeah, of yeah. just broke a barrier with myself. Do you know what I mean? I can't wait now for the next event or the next live performance. Yeah. Well, I was, I was just worrying about things, worrying about this, mm -hmm. and you know, and that, that you, that'll never go away. Yeah. Yeah, no, the no, procrastination no, no. is something that you need to really get away from. I think that's been my problem for a long time in terms of like performing and what to do live on stage and what music to write and stuff. You procrastinate too long, man. You're ruining it. You're ruining yeah. the art. You need to yeah. like. You need to be kind of impulsive as an artist nowadays. Especially I think. if you're running the event. Because yeah. everything's on in your head and on your back. But I kind and, of and understand well. why you haven't performed as well because I know both of you are writers of music in general. So you so you see every single like. You see every moment in a song, don't you? Basically, yeah, you're not yeah. just like cocky rappers who like, oh, I just want to spit some bars on yeah, this beat. Yeah. You're making the beat. Yeah. You're fucking producing the tunes. You're mm. mixing them. You're mastering them. And then the you put them out there. And then the videos. And you video them as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we, collectively we do that. You know, I think I've directed them all. Yeah. At least Kurt does all the the editing. I mean, I'm sitting next to him, going, "No, have you like that? Have you yeah, like yeah, this?" Yeah. Oh, do you edit the videos yeah. as well? Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you mean when you direct them so you create create the concept? Like? Yeah, you just write write the script like you know. He has his vision, you know what I mean? We go out there and he puts his vision down through the camera and then we just sit there. It gets tedious at times, don't it? What, <laughs> so, what <laughs> yeah. software do you use for your video editing? Uh, Adobe. Adobe, yeah. Is it Premiere Pro? Premiere yeah, Pro. Yeah. That's yeah, what Mark yeah. uses, yeah. 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 We use a free one. Don't we? It is free, but you can pay for it. It's yeah. called uh, Resolve. Da Vinci Resolve. Yeah, but to be fair, we pay for that. I do, but it's a year, yearly subscript. Yeah, yearly yeah. That, isn't I think it? years ago, because I've used it years ago. I think you could just just buy it. Buy, you? Yeah, no, no, it's no, gone all yeah, subscript. All, yeah. all, all, the yeah. all the Adobe stuff has. Yeah. Well, like I say, we sit there sometimes and. Especially Mont, he's a perfectionist to get get everything right. Do you know what I mean? We'll go through it. We'll go go away. Yeah, it's more or less done. That is. Come back the next day. And I'm ringing him like he's stuff gone like home. That. He's gone home and he's seen something. He's just seen, you know, which in a way it's a, it's a brilliant thing. There's nothing wrong with yeah, that. It's got, it's got I, I totally bother. relate to you in that, same in, that as him. in that sense, man. Because really? I'm yeah. the same. Like I recently we were speaking before the podcast. I recently wiped my social media accounts on Ten O'clock Chemical because I was just like, now we need to project ourselves in a different way. Mm. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with like wanting to constantly renew yourself. And when you're looking at old <clears> material, especially, and you go, oh shit, could have done something better there. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. And you get rid of it because like, you grow, you grow as an artist, as a fucking, you grow your skills, don't you, through time. And sometimes you listen to a track that you made three years ago and you just go, mm, it was there like creatively, but yeah, fucking hell, the engineering yeah, yeah, side yeah. of it could have been fucking a lot better. I know you've been doing that like, because like, you've been on the scene for like, quite many years, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. And now um, you've fucking, you've basically deleted, you've wiped your SoundCloud. SoundCloud, yeah, you? completely, yeah. yeah. What's the what's the idea behind that? I don't know. I think it's just improving and learning. You know, whereas you know a month ago, if I'd been making a few beats, as opposed to this month, yeah, I'm like say I'm always learning. Whether it's YouTube tutorials or whatever, or just experimenting, making new sounds. It's just you know a case of you know well that's better than that, 
and I just don't want it, you know, a mix up of, you know, sound quality as well, like, not just how, you know, the melodies and stuff, but in terms of mixing, so like, one mix can sound better than the other, one might be too bassy, one might be too loud or yeah. too tinny, and I just, when I want, when people lock onto the SoundCloud, I want people to, you know, listen to it all, you know, that same sort of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know how many most how, how most people listen to your music through what like devices like or? I'd say mobile. Yeah. I think it is mobile. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, is mobile. That's, it's interesting that isn't it? Because like, yeah. you know, when you've done the car fucking the car radio test and all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mate, did you do, 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 do the car radio test? I used to. Yeah, yeah. I used to. Not that I've got a car, but I know <laughs> <laughs> one of me one of my mates who used to go with who used to work with me. He used to have a big subwoofer in the back, and it always sounds different. I think it was. Uh, went to studio not long ago and uh, we're using some KRKs well we use KRKs I've got KRKs he's got KRKs studio monitors yeah and uh, I tried them out on some big JBL uh, PA uh, speakers and it just sounded shit I don't know what project it was mm. it was one I was working on that forever track yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. which I do plan on you know getting finished do you know what the most deceptive speakers are fucking rockets man yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we've got yeah Oh, that that what you're on about? Yeah, yeah. 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 Bass is fuck, aren't they? And just yeah. think, mm. yeah. And then when you put good. on something else, you're just like, oh yeah. bollocks! Yeah. I've yeah. fucking overdone it, aren't I? Yeah. So I sort of try to use the headphones as well. Yeah. And just, but these can lie to you as well when you. Oh, of course, you, we music. know about the podcast, don't we? Like, because you're sounding <laughs> different from the way I'm <laughs> listening yeah. to you now, like. Yeah. And we've all got different headphones. By the way, these yeah. these are the best headphones. So best in the house. Yeah, I get them, <laughs> 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 and we all sound mate. They look good. What them? What a bar. Them headphones. They, they the worst. They they were four ninety nine from B yeah. and <laughs> Feel comfy. Cheap skate. Feel comfy. The sec the second best are yours, yeah, because oh, okay. that's what I use in my when I make music. And um, these, I don't know if they're shit or not, but Wes yeah. likes these Sony. because I like these because got I've got a little weird <laughs> headlight, so, 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 so they sit better on my yeah. little weird fair bald enough, headlight. So, <laughs> so I'm right. But it, uh, that um, that that gig you did the other night, yeah. The big tall performer, the big tall boxer guy. Yeah. Who was that? Jamal Ledoux. Yeah. Jamal Ledoux. Jamal Ledoux, yeah. So much respect for that guy. Yeah, he yeah. kept bigging up Stoke, mate, and it was yeah. bloody brilliant. He gets it man. going, doesn't he? Yeah. He got it going, well, that yeah, guy I think did. He did an awesome performance. He, yeah. was, uh, he was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. He was so a good, good mate of mine, yeah. So Which is man. probably messing in Stoke at the minute, and it yeah. was like, yeah. I, I hear enough people. Including myself, man. Like the, the past <coughs> few years, I've been slagging Stoke off, yeah. and then I mean, like, what, what was he saying? You, uh, so you, you say when you say I, when I say Stoke on, you say Trent. Yeah, yeah. Stoke yeah. on, oh, Trent. Stoke. And that really fucking like that, man. Me, man. Touch yeah. my heart, that does. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you need, and it? it's what you want. Yeah, you know? definitely. So where can we find him? Is he is he about, or is he does he just come along with you guys and just perform no, a bit? No, he... <coughs> he was doing music a long time. I don't know if you ever heard of Unity Records. That's where I've known him from, anyway. Yeah, and then. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say I've lost contact with the guy, but um, I think he he, he, was, he started focusing on his on his on his boxing career because I've been I've been to a few of his his amateur fights. He's turned professional now, and uh, in fact, I said to him on that night, you know, I'm sorry I haven't been to one of your pro fights yet, but he's a I think he's a super middleweight Midlands champion. Mm. So he's he's putting it on the mold. Is he? For Stoke. I think he's younger than us. I think. Oh, I don't know how old he is. I'd say I'm gonna say he's about twenty six, twenty seven. Okay. He's gonna he's get, probably gonna watch this now. Anyway. <laughs> it's peaking. Yeah, it's peaking. No, but I think he's he's definitely younger than me. I'm twenty nine. So. Well, big up to him, mate. Honestly, yeah, he, was yeah, like, yeah. he was one of the best performers yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, only, yeah, yeah. Only because he was putting out Stoke. I mean, I, lo I loved his stuff, and and he was he just seemed so passionate about yeah. Stoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah I totally agree well, on it, that. It was yeah. great. Have you built your your network with people like? Is it these like? Because you two, for example, you went to school together, didn't you? Yeah, mm. yeah. But you never really spoke to each other. I yeah, wouldn't say yeah, it was. Yeah, we knew each other. We made a little, we made a little bit of music in school. Yeah. But like, what what do you mean when when you make music with one of your young guitars or something? No, like more or less similar what, to what we're doing. Really? Now. So you've yeah. been into music and in that and that channel yeah, like for yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah we yeah. both yeah. like yeah. rap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But obviously we're closer now than ever because of what we're doing. Do you know what I mean? We we knew each other in school, but not as much as we like. Yeah. We know mm. each other now. And um, yeah, but it's always. I mean, we've been doing what we've been doing for a long time, but we've never really knuckled down like we're knuckling down now do you know what I mean? yeah over these last few years we've started putting everything into it which you really have man like seriously that I, th I think that's what i respect about you the most like when you like since i've since i've known you 
Just which isn't that your, long, Which isn't that long, yeah, your socials, I can <laughs> tell. <laughs> you, you emanate and fucking tunnel vision energy, man, when yeah. I'm speaking to you. Like, I know exactly what you where you want to fucking be. You want to fucking mm. do this. And you, I've seen your status on Facebook, man, and you're just like, yeah, I'm fucking in the studio after fucking 12 hours, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what yeah. it's about, though, isn't yeah. it? You know? Absolutely. There's yeah. no excuses. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know? I feel... I, I, we sh- I should have done a lot more a long time ago. Do yeah, you know what I, mean? but I, I feel that sometimes. I think life just gets in the way, don't it? You know, you get you go work, you have to go work in the morning, this happens, that happens, and and until you actually knuckle down and think about it, you know what I mean? Life can easily get in the way and run away with you, yeah, which I course, think it, happen, yeah. it happens with a lot of people. I yeah. see a lot of people who are really good who don't really do anything anymore. Yeah. So that's with me, I just think, you know, it's every and I will never stop thinking about it, stop. Stop yeah. telling myself I'm going <clears> to <throat> do it one day and just do it. Do you know what I mean? Which mm. is probably what we've been doing for the last and also couple of years. And also, just on a li- on a life basis, like you, a lot the best lessons that you learn, you you always learn the hard way. Mm. Like I feel sometimes like I wasted the last three fucking four years of my life, like. But I haven't because I've learned them lessons because I know what yeah, I need to course, do yeah. now. Do you yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And and what I'm doing now is I'm not fucking victimizing myself anymore. Mm. I'm not saying no. It's the reason why I haven't made it to music is because of him or because of somebody else. Yeah, get up and do it. I'm responsible for my own fucking. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. And that's what you boys are doing, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the fucking event that you pulled on. Was yeah, nice. it, it we approve. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I mean, it was free as well. I mean, we were expecting pay a five, yeah. it, at least for get in. I mean, mm. why why did you not want to charge people? Uh, a lot. See, I think. Um, my my view on it is, you know, put the nights on free first, let people come down, see what you're doing, see see, what, see what kind of show you can put on. Yeah. Mm. And then, you know, when people know they're going to get a good night and then they won't mind buying tickets, you know what I mean? I, I would hate to just go straight in there, yeah, come on, come buy tickets for yeah. our event when no one even knows what it is. It wasn't a money-making thing, was no, it? No, that night. it and we, and we took yeah. the event on anyway, didn't we, from LFE? Yeah, yeah, LFE's a uh, good rapper, don't you know if you've heard of him. Um, we took the night over from him. He, he was originally going to do it, and we were speaking to him. And for whatever reasons, he didn't want to do it anymore. So we just like sort of took it over. Uh, it was probably about a month ago, wasn't it? Was it about a month, yeah. about a month before? So then we just started like getting getting the performers together, getting yeah. who we could. And how did you get them people together? I, I, I started I started off on my question a few minutes ago, like, but then we went to thinking. Sidetracked. But like. Um, <laughs> In terms of networking, so how have you, how did you pull all the people that you pulled together on that night? Because I know like Kaz Little played. Yeah, I've I'm regret not seeing Kaz Little because I've heard of his oh. loads. I follow her on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I've never got the chance to actually see her yet because yeah, well, she, play, she she usually plays quite early. And I think from uh, from her reputation and stuff, she should be probably like, you know, be up there and playing a little bit later in in the in the um in gigs and stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Georgia Clee was supposed to be there, wasn't she? But yeah, she wasn't. I've no. seen Georgia a few times. Yeah. She's cool as shit. I like a new shit that she's got going on. We're going to have yeah. her on on the podcast at the end of the month, actually. With Grant Foster, her brother. So yeah, I thought her Foster brother said didn't want him. Yeah, no. He? Yeah, just, yeah. He, he said he literally messed me and said, "Fuck Georgia." Don't no, he didn't. <laughs> 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 yeah, and um, <laughs> you 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 obviously played your first ever yeah, fucking yeah, first ever live fucking mental lies, man. <laughs> And uh, that rapper that was big in Stoke on Trent. How, how, do, how do you all know each other? Because like it, you've got quite a diverse range of artists there. And well, I'll night. leave that up to Mont because Mont, yeah. Mont's probably got most yeah. of them down. So well, I say like you know I've been making music for a long time, so you know people that are surrounding myself with when yeah. I first started making music, I suppose like someone like Ledoux, um, LFE. I didn't really know him until until a couple of years ago, to be fair. But I'm not I'm not ignorant. See, like, I do produce a lot of um, hip hop, or I did do. Now it's a lot of the the Drakey style weekend party next door yeah. vibes, and you know I'm producing for Kurt as well. Uh, weekend? When you said do you mean the weekend? Yeah, the weekend is the 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 singer. Yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that sort of that sort of style, but I do like listening to like Kazzy's music and and Georgia and just different different artists yeah. because. I don't know. I just I'm, I'm not ignorant to it, like you know. And I know if people people can be if they're in, if they if they like you know into the grime or whatever. Then it's 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 just grime, like. And I always say I support anyone in Stoke that's doing that's doing music. You know, that's what so. that's what we've learned about this podcast, man. Yeah. Like, I think what's different from doing this podcast from being in a band is you c- totally cancel out the rivalry. Like sometimes you can mm. turn up to an event as a band. I don't know if you felt this, like, and sometimes you think like. 
oh, they're in that band, or I'm not fucking... Blah, blah, blah. Right. But since I've done this <coughs> podcast, I've been completely open. And my manager was having a conversation with me the other day, and he's like, yeah, you've changed, Reese, because like you're listening to people <laughs> rather than <laughs> telling everyone what to <laughs> yeah. fucking do or yeah. what's good for it. You know what I mean? It is yeah. good like from a human level. Like, you Mate, know I'm, I mean? a, I'm into everything. If it's good, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and it, what, yeah, and yeah. what I've seen from you boys, that on Friday it was yeah. bloody good. I, I'm a yeah. bit, I'm a big believer it in just supporting everyone from around Stoke. You know, we yeah should be more events like we did the other night yeah. and get. There should be more, more of this, shouldn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. But this yeah. is why we've done it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like you know, Stranger Things we were talking about earlier, mm. <laughs> going into the upside down and shit, making yeah. that, making that connection. You know, going through <laughs> that fucking hole, man. This is what we're doing now. Like this is what this podcast is all about. And also, what this podcast is about is uh, about a feature called Snacks, yeah? <laughs> Are we peckish? Are we feeling? Okay. Well, I'm quite peckish, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, you gain love these snacks, man. Snacks! I like snacks! Snacks! snacks. 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 Reese's pick these. Oh, okay. Because they're well, cheap. I've, but they're I've, not as cheap as they I've used to be. I've got a bit of something extra for you later on, guys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what these are, man. You ready? They were much cheaper in your day. He's bought you some Freddos. Freddos, oh, clocked oh, it. One of yes. my favourites. Freddos. Yes. Yeah. How long has it been since you had one of them? Um, when they were about 5p. Yeah. 5p? I remember them well, being 10p. Well, I can't pound, remember. That might have been it then, yeah. Well, are they £1.10 now? Yeah, Pro- probably Pro- about Pro- 20 quid <laughs> now, aren't they? Like, yeah. Freddos. Because of inflation and all that shit. Classics, aren't they? Cla- yeah. Timeless classics. You can't beat a Freddo. Oh, no. You could, you could just get the caramel version as well. I like well, the they, chomps as well. The yellow ones. Neil got chomps today. Ooh. They were cheaper. I'm not, mm. not watching chops. Good job we didn't get one. One game be a cheapskate. I'm, I'm, gla- I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you turned up in your car, mate, and your ride. Yeah, because I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely not the cheapskate because I got Freddos <laughs> and not fudgies, mate. Old chomps. <laughs> <laughs> it was a chomp. I forgot chomps. Long and red, weren't it? long and red packing. Well, mm. Pardon. Just that chewy caramel. I like oh, them. Chewy. I like I'm, a chomp. I haven't watched them at all. <laughs> yeah, because I think what's missing from podcasts nowadays is people like ASMR. Yeah. Going up to the microphone and mm. just chomping and eating with the mouth full. You know what I mean? I can't Dork. think of anything more stoke on Trenty. Been definitely with some gooey, cheesy okay. oatcakes. If we're having a game, I've got some fucking cheesy <laughs> oatcakes. <laughs> the the gooeyest, mate. Remember, the loves a cheesy oatcake. Mm. Want to beat them? You think? Nice. Nostalgic. All round with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Snacks. Snacks. Benny Hunt. Hunter. Hunter Beats. He came up to me that night. He's a little bit pissed. Oh, yeah. A little bit out of it. But he got a few, honey. But it was good because I had as well. <laughs> <laughs> I had him on Facebook. He's yeah. cool. <clears throat> what a guy. Yeah. I've known that guy from when I was about 15, 16. Probably about the same time as a, as a new uh, Ledoux. Jamal, um, me and him were like the, the 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 young producers of the of of Stoke on Trent. Like yeah. I mean, obviously there would have been other producers at the time, but same same sort of age, I suppose. And um, he was grime back then. Yeah. FL Studio, Fruity Loops. Um, I mean, I think I was I was producing on Reason then. I'm not too sure. But what do you produce on now? I was, I was just going to ask that. Man. I'm I'm back on Fruity Loops. Uh, but yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. I do, yeah. I do uh, all the recording on uh, Studio One. Yeah. Studio One Three. What's that? I don't even know that one. Really yeah. Everyone's well, like... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story, wait. Well, we, well, this is how the companies get you to buy the software. Right. You know, the pres- I had brought a Personas um, audio interface, and it come with a free version of Studio One. Mm. Like, at the time, I'd never heard of it. What was the audio interface? Uh, it was a little, just a little Personas one, probably two. Made two. by Studio One. Uh, well, Personas Studio Studio One's made by Personas. Right. So right. it was just like a little audio interface. It was an artist version, and I just started using it at first, and to have a clue what I was doing. And then I think I think I'd never used it, and then I just went back to it. And then I started using it because I got so used to it. Yeah. I thought, why well, use anything else? You know, what I mean, I was speaking to people who were like, oh, they use this, use that, and in the end, I just ended up buying the. Studio One Three Professional Edition, which was about five, six hundred. Mental. Quid. And you're on FL Studio yeah. still. Yeah. Well, yeah. years and years ago, school days, when we were in school, um, it was FL Studio. Well, it's called Fruity Loops back then, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's still we still call it FL like Fruity Loops. But um, I remember someone handing me a crack version, 
And um, yeah, I was just pissing about on that. Yeah. Making a few dead random songs, like yeah. nothing, nothing structured really, really badly compared to now. Do you ever listen back to that old. Uh, like I had a, an old driver the other day. Yeah, my brother came across here, and he like just sort of. I was just like, I was just curious about what I'd got on mm. this old driver. Yeah, and it was like old because I use Reason mainly. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever used Reason? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about I Reason? U- I use Complex. Ableton. I use Ableton. I like it, man. I like the mess. I, I like that yeah. geekiness, like you know the combinator. I mean? <laughs> yeah. How do you two collaborate with each other then, with your difference in doors? Um. Well, like say. Uh, Kit's uh, door would be Studio One Three, and mine's. I think it's more recording with Kit, like because yeah. because. I think Studio One Three, you can do everything, mm. but it's. Um, I just mainly use it for recording, and I mm. use machine t- uh, machine native instruments. I use that as well, but I think Studio One is just like because. If you don't, if you've obviously used Fruity Loops, it's a bit tricky for recording. You can record, but it's a bit. It's Studio One. It's just Fruity Loops reminds me of like tracks. Remember, just straight up. Do you ever play? Are you are you like old school gamers? Yeah, I go on fire away. PlayStation One and all that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. EJ, Mu- EJ. I was going to mention EJ. EJ, yeah. EJ. And music two thousand. That's probably the yeah. first time. Yeah. That I w- that's like got me interested <laughs> in making music. That's good, man. What, uh, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, this exactly. is hip hop EJ. EJ, EJ. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, I, I just remember general EJ. Yeah, EJ. Yeah, yeah. I said DJ EJ then. He's a bassline. Yeah, garage. I want to hold your breath. I want to feel you. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's fucking tech, man. But I don't know any of this. It was just drag and drop, wasn't it? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Some samples on it. Yeah, that's yeah. Samples, yeah, yeah, but that's that's the idea, though. Yeah. That, if that gets you involved, then that's a good enough thing. Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I reference Music 2000 because remember, my sister used to play it. And she used to make house music by just like getting a drum, drum beat, mm. putting it in there, and then getting a fucking melody. Some of them sound <laughs> sick, though. They are, yeah, man. Yeah. I, mate, actually, I won't buy a PS1 now and just buy <laughs> Music 2000 and fucking guarantee it. And then they did a Music 3000. I remember mm. having a dream about it a few years ago. I'm such a nerd, man. But like, I was like, I had a dream about it like two years ago, and I was just like, oh, this is amazing. And I actually wanted to buy a PS1 and buy a Music 3000 just so I could make some music from it. Like, <laughs> Music 3000 and 2000 Wes is basically, did you ever play games? I'm not a gamer, mate, so I've never been on a the pla- on the pl- On the first PlayStation. I used to play Spectrum games, mate. That's there, I, I, I don't even know what you're on about now. Spectrum. Spectrum. I've heard a lot about them, never had the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Amiga? Can you it, remember it, Amiga? It, it wasn't I'd a pleasure, know. mate. Just put a floppy disk in the side. You had like a keyboard. Amiga. Mate, I'm, 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 put a floppy fucking, disk I'm, I'm, I'm that way, mate. I'm on about tapes. <laughs> I'm fucking taping me. Oh, oh yeah, man, no. fucking Before my time. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could play more games now, to be honest, but I just don't get. The, I, I I think it it ruin what I've got going for me. Like, yeah, like I, I, get, I try to play. I get bored too easy. Years really? Ago, years ago, I used to love playing games. Not get sucked in as much anymore. Yeah, now I play them for. Is that your adult brain possibly, kicking in, saying possibly. you need to get things done? Yeah, I'd rather be doing music. Yeah, yeah, so yeah man. I play it for about. Think to myself, yeah, I'll get that game on. I'll you know start doing this, yeah. and then I'll play for about 10, 10 15 minutes. Yeah. And it just, just like gets a bit. Have you got a console? Like, yeah, PS4. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Have you got Spider Man? No. Ah, oh, I right, fucking just I've been playing dying on, to play Spider Man. Uncharted. Yeah. Just playing on that. The that looks amazing. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Just, it's just like uh, it's like watching a film. It's, it's yeah. Quite good like that. Yeah. Especially That's the cool like, thing about games nowadays. They're like like fucking movies, man. Yeah, yeah. But you're you're so captivated. You're so like sucked into it. Yeah. And you're actually the character in the fucking game. It won't be long, man, before like virtual reality really kicks in, and you'll be able to play like uh, Total Recall. Seen the film Total Recall? Yeah. Yeah. Cracking film. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> Do you like films? Yeah, yeah. Do you draw inspiration from films? Um, yeah, I like horror films. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you like? <laughs> 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 Do you like um, trash cinema? What's trash cinema? I've never really looked like at. shit horror. Like no. the film, the films like that well, shit. Yeah. they look good. Yeah, no, no, like fucking shocking ones. Like that's just like that's so fake. <laughs> no, People no. love it, Everybody man. There's, it. The, there's like a cult going, and it's like trash cinema. Fucking, tra- I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'd watch one, but when I do see a little clips on, on Facebook, I'll, 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 like I'll, I'll, I'll like yeah. them because they're shitness. <laughs> <laughs> I l- Fair enough. I love film. I, d- I d- have you ever? Do you like Kanye West? Yeah. I yeah, love yeah. Kanye. I like yeah, Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. He's a bit of a dick. I, I think his older stuff was amazing. His yeah. Old, his, when he's first come out. Well, he got. Do you know how he got into music? He was producer, wasn't he? He was into games, man. And what yeah. he used to do was sample. I think he had like um, what was that to sample that you referenced? A machine. Machine. Mm-hmm. He had one of them, 
and he just used to sample like old well, Atari games and stuff. N- like. Native Instruments. He, produced, he was just a producer on it before he started rapping. Basically, yeah. But what he would do is he'd just make like loads of weird soundtracks from old games and just yeah. sample like <coughs> games because he was a fucking nerd. Yeah. And like that's what got him known to like Jay Z and shit like that. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. thing he wanted through the wire and that was all, it. All yeah. falls down. Yeah, yeah, that was the one. Classic yeah, yeah. Album. What's the like album called? The, the the college dropout was it? Drop yeah. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, that was his first album, wasn't it? Uh, but he's um he he believes he's synesthetic. Have you ever heard of synesthesia? No. You heard him go on about it. He's like, I literally see music. <laughs> so like, but I can no, I, him I, that. but I get it there, man, because like I'm I'm. Even though I'm musical, I'm definitely a visual person. Mm. So, like, if you present a beat to me or like a particular sound, I'll see your material in it. I'll be like, that's, "Oh right, yeah, that's yeah. like I can see like aluminium and that, or something." Do you know what I mean? Like, or yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. Or I'll instantly latch onto a collar. I get that. So yeah, if yeah. I hear a song, like, mm-hmm. apparently that's synesthesia. And if you can't hear West, you're that's what makes you a genius. Like, right. <laughs> I might be onto something here. You but might be, man. Shit. Because uh, speaking of that, you do the visuals, don't you? Yeah, yeah, the music, music videos, yeah, yeah. And you do the visuals. <coughs> yeah. Okay, it's his music as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, have you seen, you've seen the Elusive Love? Elusive Love, yeah, that's cool, with the car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was, um, I think the whole experience, well, that was just amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, Did you have long hair on that? Yeah. What happened? Um, I, I just <laughs> f- had a fight with a lawnmower. <laughs> 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 no, um, I had it just cut recently. It just had grown it for like two, three years. When I was younger, yeah. I was just have a skinhead, skinhead, skin yeah. up, uh, one on top, shaped <laughs> up, you know, like straight cut. And then, Did you have a patterns? Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, mark, little mark tick. Yeah, so yeah. On, 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 on that, it was just you guys that shot that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that video, just yeah. YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what happened was, we had, I had, I had, a, I had a beat. Uh, was it Sunset? Yeah, yeah, it was one, yeah, one the one we got. Yeah, yeah, it was. was it? I had, a, I had a track, an unfit. I used to have an iMac. I don't want to drift off on a story, but that. No, no, video, go drift, mate. The, 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 vi- podcast. the video, ca- the video card just fucking blew. Yeah. So like, couldn't see anything no more. But I did extract all the fucking files off, so I got like an external hard drive and backed it up. And um, <clears throat> I showed him, and he was like, "Wow, it's sick, the beat." But I said I've always wanted to do a video to this, but when I when I joined with Kurt at Rise About Now Records, yeah, I which said, was how long ago? Uh, two thousand and seventeen, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'd say so mid, it's still seventeen. So it's still quite a new project, then. To be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you could say that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. In terms of, and as in terms as where we're at, it definitely. This yeah. is why it's taking so long to do the events and stuff like. That. I yeah. mean, well, you know what I mean, like because I say, are we ready or aren't we? You know, but so yeah, with the with the. Um, with the visual, he says, "Well, let me let me do something on this on the, on this track that I had," mm-hmm. and uh, I said, "No, no, we'll start fresh because you know what I'm like." And so we did start fresh, and he invested in the in the camera equipment. We got a 4K camera, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And um, we uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I s- he says, "Like, so what are we gonna do?" And I said, "Well, it'd be sick if we went." Flew out of Spain. I know. I know a nice place. Oh, is that where it was shot? Yeah. 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 Hell, man. It's quite far enough. Two million's gone that big on it, mate. Fucking yeah. hell, man. All so, the way. So that's what I'm saying. Like you got to to believe in yourself. You got to well, invest was, in yourself. Yeah. Yeah. He was telling me first. He says, "Come on, let's fly out. Uh, do this. Let's go fly out Spain. Do the music video at first. I yeah. was like, "Yeah, yeah." You know, just agreeing with him. Didn't think it was actually going to happen. The next mate's like, "Come on, let's book it." Then. I'm like. Yeah, all right. Then. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so is that all you did? Just flew out to Spain with the 4K yeah. camera yeah, and, and shot. That, that's what we did. Yeah, days, yeah. yeah. Well, that's we what could, it's about. Then we got what? a gimbal. Yeah, yeah. that's basically yeah. it in a tripod. Yeah. Yeah. What you yeah. say to me, get we still car. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might rent it, rent it from you. So <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> the car, that car that you've seen in there, he's like, yeah, well, I have a car. I'm like, do you mean I have a car? He's like, well, I have a car for the video. And obviously, I've drove for long. I've drove for about ten years, but I've never ever drove abroad. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, come on, man. It's I'm funny. Panicking, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Going, you know, I know, panicking. That, I know well, that. it must be good if you're panicking. I asked, asked a few people. They said, yeah, it's all right. So we got there. It was like, it's convertible. Fucking brand new fucking convertible. And, it, and I was just driving. Most of the time, I was driving around. I was like, that's just dead close to the windscreen. Just checking, making sure I'm not fucking going down the right roads. And now I'm making sure I'm not fucking going the wrong way. And mm. in the end, it was an unforgettable experience. I'm so glad we did it. Well, right, I remember, right? We, we originally, we booked an Audi. Yeah. Was it an A3? I think it was an, an Audi A3. And it's uh, incredible, yeah. Does he mind? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, no, it's honestly. Fine. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so we got there. I think we got there on a Monday, say so it was a Monday. Thanks, man. Um, but we weren't supposed to pick up the car till the Tuesday. Yeah. So we we picked up the... We went to the, the deal... Was it... What was, 
six, went to the six, place. Six. Six, yeah. Six. 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 So we went there <laughs> and then uh, she's like, where have you been? <laughs> We're like, what do you mean? He's like, we, we, sent the, we sent the car to the airport for pick you up. Sorry, can I, where, where in Spain was this? Yeah, I was just about to say, oh. Menorca. Menorca. Yeah, right. yeah. So it's, uh, I mean, why, why that place? Because I've been that many times yeah. and I know right. it like, you know what I mean? So. Where's the furthest, furthest you've ever been out of the country? What? What, just in holiday wise travel? Well, we went Mexico. To, yeah, I've just been Mexico. Fuck off. I'd love going to Mexico. Ah. Ve- ve- I've been Vegas, which I don't know if it's far, but I've just been Mexico on a stag yeah, do. Yeah, been Mexico. 15 of us went on a stag do just a couple of months ago. Mm. Fuck, tell you what, it was, a, it was an experience. Yeah, you know, right, I'm there. Mm. We're big Thailand lovers, aren't we, Wes? <laughs> if this podcast was Thailand, yeah. yeah. Thailand's Thailand's great, is he been right? Thailand, yeah? No, oh, yeah. It's a bit mental there. It's great, but, right. but I would like to go South America, mate, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. like to go Panama. That's one place mm, I've yeah, got yeah. Panama in my head. Panama Canal. Yeah, Panama, mate. Panama City, I'd love, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see South America, I would. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Where did you go in Mexico? Um, Cancun. Cancun, yeah. Cancun. What was it like? Was it party time or was it. Uh, I think you what? went spring break, didn't you? We didn't go together. Yeah, spring break I went on, yeah. Obviously, I went with just load of lads for the uh, stag do. Um, mm. The hotel, it's one of them. We only, we only left the hotel for go down a couple of the clubs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it is a bit, it's a bit dodgy. A bit dodgy, I don't think you're like, it's supposed to. Yeah, the non-touristy sides are. What was yeah. your weather like? I know it's nice weather down yeah, there. Yeah, red, red hot every day, yeah. Red hot. Well, well, we went in, I went with my girlfriend, so we went in like a hurricane season. Yeah. I didn't oh. know that. Yeah. But she's been to like middle of a hurricane. Yeah, she she's been Cuba before, so she knows. <laughs> she, but it was cheaper. You know, she. Couple she's hundred been, she's quid been cheaper. Where did you say? Was it fuck? <laughs> did you say Cuba? Yeah, she'd been to Cuba. Yeah, uh, when she was little. So I mean, she she was saying to me, you know, Caribbean is fucking so nice, like, and so we went, and uh, it was dead nice. When for hurricane season, it was dead nice. Yeah, you had like a little bit of a storm at night. I mean, it wasn't raining; you could just see it out at sea. But no, it's just when, when, when you go to Thailand, I mean, yeah. it's, yeah, we, it's we so went, on the equator, but it can bloody rain there, mate. We went, in, Oct- you, we went in, in October, wasn't when it? When it rains, it fucking rains. Yeah, we went in October, didn't we? And like every day. But the thing is, every day was flooded, but by like three o'clock, the flood was gone and it's it was gone. sunny again. So yeah, it was like yeah. so tropical. It's that warm, isn't yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 Was that thing on Netflix watching about that cave? Well, and yeah, you know, I was that just about to say, I watched that. Overnight. That was Thailand, I think. Well, I haven't actually seen it that just, documentary. It, just, it, rained, it was all right, and then it rained. Yeah. And the it's a monsoon one, it's or something like that. Mate, when it rains there, yeah. I mean, when it rains here in this country and it floods, it's in, it's on the telly, it's on the news. Yeah. It's all a big panic, and it's yeah. Thailand, when it rains, it just fucking rains, it floods. It's just then half an hour man. later, it's gone. Yeah. It's, mm. it's, it's weird, it's, it's brilliant. But I love the heat. Do you guys love heat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, so I mean, not I'm a redhead, so but I, I can tolerate it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know. I just, I just get beards. <laughs> How are you? If, oh. if, if, if you didn't know, <laughs> if you didn't know, I, I, I didn't I'm know. A, I'm a redhead as well, but oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> redhead red and face. in denial. <laughs> <laughs> no, but speaking of that, yeah, fucking where we're from, the Stoke on Trent accent in your songs, yeah, I'm fucking big up, man. Was like, do you know when you were referencing Eminem earlier? Yeah, yeah. I do a bit of rapping myself, like I'm not like coming on to you like, like oh, I do a bit of rapping myself, like <laughs> I've attempted <laughs> rap, yeah. Don't think I think I'm just trying to copy off Eminem sometimes right. because I, I notice I Americanize my rapping. Yeah. And <coughs> like, um, there's this guy that we know called Martin Godin, right? And he's a band called High Vis Jacket Theory. Shout out. High Vis Jacket, the fucking ace. Yeah, kill man. The, the, but the Martin cool. Godin. I am Brew. We had we had I had a good conversation with Martin a while ago because he was saying like your raps are really good your lyrics are good but he's like why are you Americanizing them and I'm like because I I feel like it's unnatural if I do it in a Stoke accent yeah, yeah. I feel like it's wrong did you ever have did you ever have that like sort of do you know what I mean uh probably yeah when I probably first like you Americanize yourself but then yeah, like you yeah. have to because rap to me is about being real isn't it. So yeah, like yeah. you should you should be pronunciating what? you should be pronouncing your words and and how you would say them in general. Mm. What so you think my songs that you can hear my Stoke you can hear accent. your your Stoke accent comes right through. See, I, I don't really know whether you can or whether yeah, you can't. Yeah, no, it definitely you know does, I mean? mate. Yeah, I thought you did it deliberately, yeah, but you don't. I'd, no, no, I just think if anything, I probably would have said I might sound a bit American, but yeah. obviously, if you're saying you don't think Barry Hatchet sounds slightly American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, because you can. I think one of the lad I was talking to there, he was saying to me, "You definitely influenced by Eminem because you yeah. could hear I was rapping sort of thing." Yeah. But I think, I think it's just as time has gone on, 
I thought about what you just said about you know it's where you're from and your own yeah. accent and that's you know as probably when I was first started doing it years and years and years ago it probably it was probably definitely American just you were like trying Eminem. to be someone else and yeah, then yeah. somewhere down the road you're going to have to but like sort of have that conversation with yourself where it's like no this has got to be yeah. about myself like you know what I mean yeah, like, I think we're actually with the song Una Notcha if you heard that one they've done a video to it I remember when I wrote that I was trying to say it more is that the one with the smart yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to say more. Well, as you say, that Barry actually says a bit more. Like we did our research quite well, Wesley. Oh yeah, like. oh yeah. Talk <laughs> about the research. What we did. Uh, we sp- before we even knew you. What we saw is you giving away a free giveaway. If anybody comments. Oh right, yeah. On the um, the uh, the merchandise that you're wearing the, the, currently the, wearing yeah, now. The, the, yeah, the merch yeah. you're wearing. Yeah. And uh, you you pick somebody out of heart. And it was somebody from America, and obviously you did say that you would drop off the merch if, if, if somebody it was local. If it was local, not, yeah. you, you just it, fucking pay for the delivery. Like yeah, I think we've done a couple. Like the first one, the t- someone on a t-shirt, it was local. So actually, just just down the road from me, actually, the person who won it. And yeah, the one we just done the other day, which was the the hoodie one too. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, he's an American lad. Um, I can't think where where, where was he where he's from. Um, wasn't. Wasn't Idaho, was he? Or was it Idaho? Yeah, it might have been something like that, yeah. So, so, so you're that far reaching? That I, either well, way, man, like, you've got super, like 100% credit to you for like g- g- willing to go out, out your yeah. way. Because I know what that promotion was all about, man. It was about getting the name out there. Yeah, promoting well, promoting well, the Mont's product. Actually, Mont knows a lot of people in uh, Colorado anyway. Yeah. You know I mean, he's got, so we have got a lot here. Uh, so does your stuff reach out that far then? Do, do you actually get fans out there? Or? Yeah, yeah. You know, as yeah. as as a producer, I've I've um, I've you know just ended up accumulating a good custom out in Colorado that buy beats. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the, so it's sort of come from there, and then we just just networking and. I think what uh, I think Ram, you know, the Ram Radio we told you about, we do. Ah, yeah, we'll talk about yeah. that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think I think that's, that's, that's what I'm going about it now. The well, that's, Ram Radio. That's like uh, done a lot of networking for us because obviously what we did, we've been talking about it for ages, haven't we? About about doing like uh, starting up a radio show sort Is of thing. Is that fully up and running now? Or? Yeah, 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 and we just. <coughs> Uh, we just put a well, Mont put a post on his page saying, you know, listen, what we're going to start this bit of a radio. Anyone unsigned, whoever send us your send us your, your work, and we'll we'll play it like. And just went from there, didn't it? And the the amount of people we've listened to, you know, Mont, one Mont like does this playlist because Mont sort of presents it in the amount yeah. of, the amount of people we've discovered, haven't we? And we've listened yeah. to it's just. So how, how do we get to hear Ram Ram Radio? Let's see, we do uh, at the minute we just do it through the Facebook page and yeah, we are seen, yeah. we are on about branching out to gain it on the website and, yeah. and whatnot. But you know, we, it is relatively new at the minute. We have been doing it a fair few months, haven't we? Oh yeah. But it is it's still It's normally the end of every month, but we used to do it every was it every week? Yeah, we first started every week, didn't we, but it was yeah. just getting a bit bit too much, bit too tedious, wasn't it? Like, a bit so too yeah. repetitive as well. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're getting that problem, aren't we? We're doing a podcast every fucking week. But every, sometimes we do two in a week. Like, but. No, I suppose <laughs> I suppose what you're doing is a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's a little different, won't well, It's just talking into Yeah, you know. because we, we, we are different people, we're different bands, we're different genres, we're different to everything. But the, 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 run, the, the, the run radio, I want you more about it, honestly. I mean, yeah, well, we just, is we it going to be... Bigger is it going? Yeah, well, definitely. We're just, yeah, we're just uh, moving to some well, moving to some new premises for uh, like a dedicated radio room. What and we're going to be getting like local artists. Well, you're going to get some better mics than these. Yeah, uh, yeah, ten times better than these. That won't be all. Well, we're going to. That's an MXL nine ninety. <laughs> yeah, that's not ours. Oh right, okay. <laughs> I was going to say that's that's a good mic. It is actually it's cheap as shit as well. Thirty quid that was. Thirty quid. Do you oh, know is that supposed to be more expensive? Yeah, but brought it fucking black, second hand. Yeah, yeah. You're talking pounds. over a hundred pound. Seriously, believe. yeah. That's why that's so good. I recorded the last single with that. Well, it's a condenser, right? So it's, I mean, it's a. It's a re- these are condensers. These cost about uh, six hundred. Uh, yeah, yeah. These are dead expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty quid each. These oh, are. these, these, these three are the same. That's the. The I think no. No, there's one that's yeah, shitty because yeah. we kicked off on me because I went fucking cheapskate and bought a cheap yeah. one. Yeah, it does the job. Yeah. So you're the most important person here tonight, according to the uh, the standard. Uh, no, uh, the mic. The standard of the mic. <laughs> Best mic. Shit oh <laughs> no, he did it! Oh 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 oh! Right, you've heard of nostrils of the week. 
Have you ever had a bit about it? Have you heard a bit about it? Have you ever seen a good nostril? Have you ever looked at a nostril and gone? It's just weird uh, guy, mate. He's into fucking not... Oh, that's me. It's called, <laughs> it's <called laughs> <Wes>. <laughs> he's Man. a redhead. Hey? He's, he's a redhead, naturally. Me? But I'm not. Currently, he's bald. That's I'm what you said earlier. I'm not really a redhead, mate. I'm, uh, I'm, so sort, right. of, I'm sort of a mousy brown. <laughs> 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 if I did have hair. Are you serious, though? Have you never looked at his nostrils and just gone, fuck yeah, oh, look at them nostrils. Uh, These ones... They're not particularly good. I can't say I can't say I've but I'm right. looking forward to seeing okay. some. Bear with us, yeah, because you might you look at these nostrils this week, yeah, and from now on, from when you walk out this podcast, you'll be looking at people's fucking nostrils, mate. But these <laughs> ones aren't, like, more noticeable, like, right. uh, these are, like, um... Hold on, Wesley, you haven't done the fucking theme tune yet, man. Oh, is it theme tune time? <laughs> <laughs> where's his nostrils, 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 where's yeah, he sings nostrils when yeah. he was doing do the know, fucking do, do alliteration, <laughs> do you know, when you're going, yeah. nostrils, 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 eventually you don't go, blah, And saying yeah, yeah. We Nos- decided to nostril. keep recording on the, on the old soundtrack, like so. Right, so this week, what's her name? Natalie Horton, this is. Natalie Horton. Now, Natalie Horton, yeah, she's, uh, uh, she's like some right-wing sort of uh, f- um, philosopher. philosopher from okay. America. Yeah. Uh, she's currently banned off Facebook, mate, uh, but f- f- for a uh, uh, views. Not but a bad t- set, then. Oh, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> J- are you getting it? <laughs> Not a bad set, that's uh, yeah. Right, it's okay. <laughs> like, what we're looking for is circular, round. Right, yeah. And they're not that circular, they're not that round, but they are quite good, and she is quite fit. Mm. So, right. this week, that <coughs> is Natalie Horton, and that is Wesley's Nostrils of the Week. <laughs> Nostrils, you see, we have a lot of technical difficulties, but I actually think that makes the the podcast kind of professional because yeah. we're about like being a bit fucked up, aren't you? I mean, yeah, <laughs> I could have fixed this, but I decided, fuck it, fuck it, all the mistakes, well, keep it natural, can't, can't, it makes can't, us human. Can't we fix it on the edit? I made a mistake on the weekend, man. I played at um. All Sage Festival. Yeah, I saw yeah, that, yeah. that yeah. video, yeah. Oh, oh no. You didn't saw someone put that video on, didn't you? Yeah, uh, you didn't watch, did, did you watch the whole way through? No, didn't good, I. good, 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 good. Because we we've got a song called Babylon Has Fallen and we fucked it up halfway through. And it's just simply down to fucking... If you've ever used Ableton. Do you know when like, you Fuck say... Fuck off. Yeah, no, I hate Ableton with a fucking passion, mate, I do. Like, I'm, re- I'm really against Ableton. I'm, I'm pissed off that we have to actually I'm use it on the, the podcast. Pleasure. But um, something didn't re- something didn't render right, and like the all, all the fucking the audio that we put into this particular tune went completely out of sync, and just made us all look like penises like <laughs> live on stage. It was alright because everyone laughed it off, and we just moved on to the next song like nothing just fucking happened. Under the carpet. Yeah, but the problem is it's all over, it's all over Facebook. Yeah, it's all over Facebook, <laughs> and it was live. It was like a good gig though. I mean, that's if you're playing live. But I think that's, people connect, like, you know, with, like, that human side, especially in terms of music and everything, because everything's so processed and perfect nowadays. Yeah, I think yeah. people appreci- appreciate that realness. Mm. Like, have you ever come across it in recordings? Because, like, I know you use auto-tune, like, on the uh, Peter 118 single, uh, fucking Feed the World, was it? Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't yeah. We didn't engineer that. Did that. Ah, mate. J- Shit, was, that was that way you? too auto-tuned for me. We, we, did the, we just did the we visuals. We just did the visuals, ah. like, yeah. Oh, you okay. just did the yeah, visuals? Because yeah, yeah. there were some really good singers in there. I didn't even know yeah. you did that. Yeah. And he was playing that fucking yeah. Feed the World thing. Yeah. And it was yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. are you doing this for? I thought I was just doing a Peter 118 Yeah, thing. no, we just filmed and that, yeah. And he was researching your stuff. Yeah. And he saw you playing it, and it was like, fucking hell, Fields is in this. It's like, is he? And I didn't realise, so you just did the filming? Yeah, we just did the filming. Uh, George t- took care of the, all the recording, yeah. you know, the yeah, vocal recordings. George studio, J-Lan, J-Lan, J-Lan. Where, where, yeah, was, where, J-Lan. where was that actually um, recorded or Do shot? You know and JLM Studios, the, you know, in Beerslam? Beerslam. Do you Leopard in Beerslam? Yes. yes. Just behind there, George yeah. goes like his JLM just studio, yeah. Fucking hell. It was all obviously people he knew and he just asked us because yeah. Mont knows him so he just asked us if we could come down and I'll so, so it was both of you that, that shot it yeah, yeah we yeah. just shot it yeah. Yeah, yeah but you know the funny thing Joe didn't tell him they'll tell yeah, them yeah. That, that there was a film crew in there so we were like <laughs> stuck in this corner and they were all coming in and they were like oh <gasps> <laughs> really? And yeah, then yeah. like, and then you got people behind the recording. So, th- so there was a film crew as well as you guys. Yeah, well, there was always the we the filming. Yeah. Oh, you were the film crew. Yeah. 
And people were coming in, they were like, oh my God. You know what I mean? So <laughs> they were just like shitting it a little bit. What did, you, did, did, you was... did, did you actually meet Fiozzi, Peter Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We met. I'd yeah, never, yeah. We'd, I'd never heard of him yeah. before then. Had we? I didn't, I didn't yeah. I, 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 I had never seen. I was this guy with his jacket on. He's a mental yeah. Mate, he, mate yeah. he's a yeah. fucking yeah. lovely guy. Yeah, man. yeah, he's nice. He was, he was down he for the, the other event that we were doing in Festival yeah, Park. Yeah. He's a good guy, yeah, he's yeah. a good guy. I caught it, up with him. He's all right. <laughs> so, so how many years ago is that now? It's last what, year? The, 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 uh, feed the World. Yeah. Last year, was just last Christmas. Yeah. Just so gone, was it yeah. just last Christmas? Yeah, it was for November, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Last Christmas. I can't give my heart. Last Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Christmas just gone, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Which is like, <coughs> um, you'll probably see if you scan it next Christmas. Yeah. I'll put it out. We'll, we'll put it out, won't we? We'll put it yeah, out. It was a good, good day, wasn't it? Enjoyed it. Good charity. Obviously, met a lot of people we met that we didn't know before. So, you know what I mean? It was good for us. Too like, much auto tune for me. Yeah. Well, that's down to Joe Dennis. Have a word of him about that. Game in on the next podcast. And Jord. Really. Peace <laughs> off, then. Jord. Come in. Let's have a chat. JLM. <laughs> 3,000 likes on Facebook. Yeah. Plus. Yeah. Can I have some advice, please? Um, I think, obviously, the p- it's been going now, the page. Uh, well, that's... When I first started right about now records, that was, like, one of the first things that, like, was the foundation, like, a Facebook page. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah. I got me, had my studio, and that was the first thing, you know. And is that the place where you get the most traffic? I think it has, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our... We tried Twitter. And yeah. I even read a book the other day. Twitter's on Twitter. fucking hard. I, I've, I've never done Twitter. I've tried. So all this book on eBay ordered it out to business Twitter and all this. Twitter's yeah, scattered. Yeah. It's too scattered. It's fucking horrible. D- it's, to crack Twitter, you've got to be a little bit fucking yeah, wacky, it's man. A, it's yeah. a lot of work, you know what I mean? And I, so Instagram's cool. Yeah, yeah Instagram's yeah, alright. Yeah, on yeah. Instagram. Instagram and Facebook. I mean, we use Facebook more than Instagram. Definitely, so yeah. We use Instagram Same a bit man. more, really. But yeah, Facebook is our, especially with like Ram Radio, what we've just been talking about and all that. and Obviously, all the releases links go on there and everything. Yeah, that is our our main source of traffic. Definitely, yeah. yeah. How did you build it up though, so big? Because like you've got you've got, you've got one team member, yeah, and another, yeah. So it's his friends that he's inviting and mine. And obviously, obviously, all the what we said about Colorado, people, Colorado, yeah. fucking yeah. low. Honestly, artists we have down and. It's just a lot of different stuff, isn't it? You know, different because you've built work, it, work you built it without doing events, like like you were saying earlier about yeah, that was exactly, the first yeah. event that you pulled. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine what you're going to do. Imagine the crowd that you're going to pull, social media wise. Yeah. If you do more events, like you know what I mean. Yeah, and I think what well what also we've done as well is, I mean we have got artist pages as well, but um, we just sort of stuck to one page because mm. if you know if you start having because Mont had his artist page before he joined right about now records and then. So if you if you have your artist page as well, it's like f- three times the work. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Whereas yeah, we, yeah. Ju- we just stuck to one page and put everything f- on that page and through that page, which mm-hmm. is, you know, a lot lot easier than trying and do everything because then you're doing everything three times, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Which and obviously we we are just going to promote you forever now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah, I honestly. Think no, if they slagged off all fucking marks, man. Don't think yeah. so. <laughs> no, I won't talk about this mark. I'm about another mark I was using the other day. Ah, right, no, that yeah, was yeah. Mike. Oh, no, <laughs> Mike, Mike that we know, Mike. yeah. Mike, yeah, the, Mike, the, the yeah. guy Mike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think now, like, say we're doing live events now, we just ne- we've just we just never... I think live events is a big big side of the things. What we're, Of course it is. I've wanted to do it for ages, but just never took that step to do it. Mate. Yeah do more because yeah. it was what you did the other night what you how you pulled that off man it's cracking i can't believe that was the first time you played you the way you moved and everything i thought yeah. you've been doing it for years man. a lot of practice yeah, yeah. i've been there watching him what uh, software were you using on stage because i saw you making all the beats mm. were you on a mac or a pc it's just a pc it's a laptop hp notebook little shitty thing Oh gosh, I had to. I was. <laughs> I, I had to buy it when my map when my map yeah. blew. I was just. I can't just not make music. Yeah, yeah. So. Did you ever get any crash issues or what well, live or? It, it starts. It starts lagging and going slow when I've you know obviously accumulated all these. Because it seems yeah. slow yeah. on the night, mate. So yeah, 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 we made sure there's nothing. Yeah, well, there's no problem. About one, it's yeah, we were worrying just, about that. I can't take more of Mon's beats, man. That's it's too <laughs> too fucking good, man. Close me. It's too hot. <laughs> Close me. <laughs> Update shut down. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. No. You remember when he did that? We um, obviously we got an artist for come in. Uh, we were working with. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, everything's honky-dory, yeah, yeah, This we're going to be using this laptop today, you know. 
and it decided to do a fucking yeah. update. Yeah. It did that. Two hours. Yeah, yeah. Two hours. Happens. When was that fucking podcast of the week that we did and you? Yeah. Just about get the fucking yeah. podcast Updates. up. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck Computer you. decided fucking <laughs> pack up, mate. She wanted an update. <laughs> the crap, aren't they? Unless you're paying mega money. I tell you. Well, you seen a Max crashed on you, so. Yeah, well, that was the video card. I don't, I don't know what's behind that because I know, I know people that are still. You know, s- the same time as I got mine, they've still got theirs, and theirs is running. I don't know if I was just technology, man. There's like, there's no fucking no rules, rules to technology. Yeah. I made it easy. There's loads from me. Like every time something fucks up, I'm like, there's no fucking rules, is there? Like, <laughs> it just fucks up in some way or another. Every time I've gone to a gig, there's something you're gonna have to learn, my friend. I know, yeah. Every time you go to a gig, something will fucking yeah. go wrong, and well, you'll have to you'd be like, oh, for well, fuck's sake. One of the things the other night, obviously, we didn't. Uh, the the mic wires and mics and if anyone knows they probably didn't like one the, when I cause when I first went on I was with Kid M he was he was doing his and I was like featuring on a couple of his and mic wire I don't know what was up with it was loose uh, you know it just kept going off so yeah. it was, must have been a dodgy yeah. connection so I was holding the mic it's so simple isn't it mm-hmm. little well, things like that, that. fucked so, up so I said to Mont because we did take a couple of mics but with it being his first event we didn't really we thought yeah all the equipment will be all right so I said to Mont moving forward now gonna get a couple of new mics you know what i mean make sure we've got plenty of wires yeah so stuff like that doesn't happen do you know what I mean? we well still things can go tits up whether you're in your bedroom or whether you're at glastonbury race yeah, yeah. if you're playing live yeah it can go I wrong that's just the live side of it that's it? Mm. that's what's part of the fun of you isn't it really yeah. i mean oh. what can happen will happen yeah and it's going to happen <laughs> 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 mate i've been doing for it for, i've been fucking moving for like three years man and every gig that i've ever been to something goes wrong whether it's just one synth or computer or, or keyboard fucking. does that to you or a fucking keyboard key just suddenly sticks up at you. That's <laughs> fuck you, man. You had a keyboard once that... Right, we're going to end the show on Show Is Your Meme. Oh, we're having a meme. Show Is Your Meme, yeah. But before we start, who are your favourite artists in Stoke at the minute? Um, like you when I say Stoke on, you say... Trent. Stoke on. Trent. Trent. Stoke on. Trent. <laughs> right about Good all the do. Yeah, I'll get mine up. Favourite artist in Stoke then right now? Um doesn't have to be Stoke, it just can just be in general, it can be whatever you want. What do you say, Mons? Inspiration um, artist. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't want, without, if I pick someone, this isn't me just picking them because, you know, I don't know, without taking anything away from anyone, Yeah. like all the hard work that Kate does, yeah, yeah, go or for anyone. Yep. An artist that I've taken a shine to, I've only been speaking to for a few weeks. 10 o'clock chemical. Who were they? <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay. Big, they're big timers. <laughs> I like them when Danny Shaw was in them. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, oh. I think... Uh, Only because his nostrils are good. <laughs> 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 no. The, art, the artist that I like, yeah. I would say, would be Astra. He performed on the night. I don't Astra. know if you've seen him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's only a young lad. He's from, from London, I think. Did he travelled quite far to come up to Stoke, didn't he? No, he is living in Stoke. I don't. No, he's know. living here. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I haven't really got to know him that well yet. But I think just just he's. I think he, you know he makes all his own stuff as well, and yeah, um, just he, he's, he's he's singing voice as well. And when he come up on the stage to us, he, he was like uh, he was shitting himself. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's he's performed before live, but well, he's probably he, doing pretty good. Yeah, and, and he was like, I want, a, I want a little bit of reverb on the on the what's it? Well, we like, we can't, we don't know how to do it. Like, it wouldn't work, would it? So, yeah, that, may, that mixer, yeah. But he, uh, I think he's he's brilliant. I'm working on a track with him. It's called Alone. Um, and is that coming out? Do you think? I don't know. Yeah, he's just sort of yeah, and yeah. Like I don't guess. know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Can I can I just see the guy yeah. with the glasses on that was there before? I want you big him up as well because he was quite shit off as well. Who which? Who kid him? Kid him. Yeah. Is, is that your mate with the cap? Yeah. With the cap. Yeah. 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 He, he, he was good. Yeah. Well, I was. That's what I was probably going to say. He yeah. Is, he is my mate, and but I'd say he is probably one of my favourite artists because he's. I don't know if you heard the song he he, he wrote while he performed. It's about like his mum and his like his family troubles and all that. And when he, he first came down the studio, and and did it in front of me before we recorded it, I got goosebumps and everything because I know him a little bit and I know. I know, know he's good. Know, know, his yeah. you know his story, like yeah. And, yeah. and he did that, and f- and when he did it the other night, it was. It was who, spot who, on. Who's that? Kid M. Kid M. His name. Kid M. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's obviously one. He's like one of my mates. He's always weird with us and that. And. But like this particular song, it's called an open letter. We are releasing it in a couple of weeks, actually. And um, but especially more for me because I know the story behind it, and yeah. like, it was just giving me goosebumps. I was like, "Fucking hell!" Like, it, like it was really good, and he has a really good general rapper, anyways. You know what I mean? He's he's, 
he's a lot uh, like a fast rapper sort of thing, isn't he? Bit of a tongue twister, yeah. 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 Rap God. No, not, I wouldn't say that fast, but he's... That's the one. <laughs> Salman. Nice one for coming in. We'll play you. Uh, no problem. I hope before actually we play fucking Cherry's meme. Are we going to collaborate tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Are you up for it? Absolutely. After the podcast finishes, I'll show you some shit, man. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. If you approve, give us a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs, thumbs up, up or thumbs down. Do it. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Definitely not on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case. <laughs> right, so you're aware of this feature now. We're going to play a game called Cherry's Your Meme. Yeah. Right, so what we're going to do is, <coughs> I'm going to give him my phone, <coughs> and all you have to do is... Well, t- take mine, just uh, swipe right, they're on the screen anyway. So you go that that way, yeah, or to you, it's that way. <laughs> that way. Yeah, so if you go on the face meme... So, that way, f- or this way? Go that way. That this way. way. Uh, go that way. That way. Uh, Hold on, let's have a look. <laughs> Is there going to be some nudes that Jim jump out on me or something? That's what I was worried about. No, oh, okay. <laughs> it's this way, yeah. It's that way, yeah. Towards, yeah. Fuck, delete that. So here we go. Show us your meme. So this is the first meme we've got, okay? Now, uh, your task is to rate this meme out of 10 and not to give a rookie score. So please give a decimal point after your score. So if it's like a 5.2 or... So, when you have a fight with your girlfriend and she says, Well, who gonna satisfy you now? And the guy is clearly pointing to his hand. Zero. 3.2. He's a good meme scorer, man. Mm. So people, we've had people in that are really generous, and we've had people in that are just like zero. What feels like? Zero, oh, wow. next meme. Because <laughs> this, is, this is good. Next meme, 3.2. Me checking electric bill. <laughs> Please yeah. don't be high, electric bill. 9.4. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that. Yes. That's fucking fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. Are we agreeing? 9.4. Yeah. 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 I'll laugh as soon as I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, next meme. What the item looks like on Wish. <laughs> that's a good what it looks result. like when it arrives. Definitely. That's got to be like a 9.1. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell, I'm going to my school time, you guys. <laughs> what do you reckon, Wes? Um, yeah, Curtis. Because he doesn't <laughs> Steve Corral. It, it clearly isn't uh, Steve Corral, but it does look kind of like Steve Corral, doesn't it? But it's not him. That's, that's a good one. I'd yes, go, I'd go uh, 8.1 for that one. Okay. 8.1. What are you saying? Yeah, I'm happy with that. 8.1. 8.1. Yeah, Have yeah. you ever had them weird fucking pop-ups on Wish, man? Yeah, right weird do you know what Wish is? Yeah, yeah, like. And that makes me wonder what I've been fucking researching. Cause I'm like, <laughs> how the <laughs> fuck did you, you get... Do, 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 you know what, do you know what Wish is? Yeah, yeah. You always see it on Facebook, don't yeah. you? you it's to, fucking brilliant Wish is, mate. Yeah, you have to wait like 25 days. <laughs> yeah, and when it comes, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next meme. What are we on? When your kid is 30 years old, yeah. but still lives at home. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were looking at the wrong ones. That's what we're on the next one. We are. We've oh, just oh, done that one. Hey, hey, hey. This one's good. That's why I just give 8.1 for that one. Hey. Ooh. I'll give 8.1 for that, just. Uh, we give 9.4 to the Steve Crow one. Okay, we're on this one. You're, when your kid is 30 years old, but still is. That's an 8.1. That's 8.1, 8.1 yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Sorry, we're a bit ahead of you. That's one. fine. Next meme. The share one. When your tattoo artist is hard of hearing. So that's the one that you were laughing at. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's a bit of an unfortunate one, though, isn't it? Like, if you get that. A yeah, man. I'd give that like 8.5. Okay, 8.5. Are you a fan? Are you a fan of chair? Oh, I'd have a fan. Are you a fan of? Are you a fan of chairs? <laughs> oh, it, what, what's better, it chair or chair? He loves yeah. a good chair. Both. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, chair. You gotta give chair. I disagree. I think chair. Chairs like everyone's, compulsory. Everyone's into, entitled to their own opinion. Everyone's entitled to a chair, mate. Not everyone <laughs> is entitled to a chair. Like, you know what I mean? Next meme. When you drove your pie to school and put your kids in the oven. <laughs> Seven point nine. Seven point nine. Yeah. Good scores, man. Is that like, man? You, you go yeah, with that? Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah. Pretty symbiotic in the, yeah, the rate I'm, scoring, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Or definitely. Or you're just happy to go with whatever because this is just fucking stupid. Are you on the next meme already? Yeah. Okay, now here we go. Me and my boo after I break out of everything for John. That's Have you seen the shit that's going on Facebook at the minute? I've seen that the other day. Yeah. It's fucking, it, it's gone berserk, can't yeah, it? Like yeah, people yeah. are saying that they're breaking Ch- into Area Ch- 51. Chuck Norris yeah. commented on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either. Saying we're ready, yeah. I saw one Chuck that Norris. said, don't break into Area 51, break into the Vatican. <laughs> She's got a massive forehead, hasn't she? I'd mm. go with. That's like Anton Deck in it's one not, person. It's not as big as mine. 5.3 on that. 5.3. 5.3. Yeah. That's oh, a fair God. score, to no, be honest. good score. It ain't that funny. I don't know, actually. Because if you look at that side picture of it, it kind of doesn't look real. <laughs> yeah. That's not. Are you on the next one now? Next nice meme. Nobody. Oh, we're back on Wish again, aren't we? Yeah. Mm. yeah. See, I don't find that that funny. I'd go for like a 
I'll give you a 2.7. I'm really sorry about Arcades, man. Like, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. So that's a 2.1. We'll just move on from there. Oh. We'll no further comment. Oh, is that it? That, that, that was it. it. That, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That, that's the end of the memes. Nostrils. Thank you very much for coming in, by the yeah. way. No problem. No, uh, thanks uh, for having us. coming in, guys. It's been a that, pleasure. That, that was great. Yeah. If you've got any last sort of like uh, plugins or anything, look at that camera and fucking tell your guys to look at fucking your Facebook page and blah, blah. <coughs> yeah, they're this right about our records. And if you've got any merch uh, as well, you want to give us as well. Like, oh, yeah. We, we're, yeah. We're, 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 might, we're might have brought something. We might be appreciated. What have we got? What have we got? Let's have a look in Mont's Sh- goodie bag. Show us your merch. <laughs> Keep it. And get get tonight, your merch out. Show us your merch. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here's your merch. Oh, man. Really Let's appreciate that. The, yeah, a the, couple of tops. This there. is a classic colours. Okay. Just the red and black. Oi, we like red and black, mate. Do you? Yeah, rebel it colours. Nice there you go. Here. Here we go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. How perfect does this yeah, game be, yeah. mate? Seriously. I, honestly, Oi, that, that, that appreciate that. Brilliant. No problem. Yeah, appreciate we'll definitely wear this on the next podcast. Yeah, the next like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The podcast. We'll, we'll Every time someone comes on, we'll we'll put something Absolutely, on. Absolutely, yeah. Them. Sweet. So, boys, nice one for coming in. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Best Thank of luck to you. Pair of you, man. Yeah. I th- Thank I th- you. I think you're going to move on to big things, yeah, man. We'll, I think we'll, we'll, be, we'll stay in touch anyway. Yeah, man. Definitely, mate, because you're good guys, man. Yeah, yeah, likewise. Sweet. Boosh. Catch you later. Boosh. Sick. Sick. Done it. Yeah, man. I was that, guys. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed yeah, that. I enjoyed it, man. Yeah, yeah. laugh. He is a bit sweaty. Better than BBC, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs>